gentlemen, welcome the one and only, the one and only, Anwar Glover, a.k.a. Big G, a.k.a. What's Slim up? Charles, on the check-in of his yeah. birthday week. Yeah, happy belated birthday, my brother. Oh, man, thank you, Flex. I feel like 21. You feel like 21 again? <laughs> 21 all over again, man. You know, this this COVID had me in, and I'm just relaxing, man, putting a bunch of plans together. Word. Pretty brainstorming. I think, you know, I know everybody's hurting financially and worried about if they're going to get sick. Word. Like, me and my mind, I have lost a lot since a kid, but right. this time has really put me in a focused seat with a double, triple seat belt on, and I know... Ooh. Like, when I come out of this, bro, if they push me to the side, then it's meant to be for me not to make it somewhere. Then it, you know wow. what I mean? Because it's like I've been I've been doing all the double ser searching, researching, and just, like, really focus on where the brother's really trying to go and right. trying to take my city at. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's a lot going on right now. I saw on your, your, your gram today that you guys were doing some stuff in the community. I, explain... Uh, your whole project that you guys um tackled today. Because one thing with you, the whole Backyard Band, Rasan, RNG Entertainment, y'all are just a collective. Y'all are never caught up in j just the stage performances and stuff. Y'all are big nah. in the community. So tell us what happened today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did something huge, man, with uh, Sasha Bruce, right. where, you know, we, we gave over 100 and some songs to the youth, to the kids. And um, I'm a big advocate on homeless youth. Right. Homeless people, period. You know what I mean? Socks are the less thing that homeless people have. Yeah. Hypothermia, when it's cold out, even when it's like summertime, just walking on the pavement in the dirt, they really need socks because you got to put socks on your homeless people. And yeah. like, I've been doing it for a minute. So I got the G Socky brand all okay. fun with the backyard, with right. RNG, with everything we do out there with the youth. And it was a beautiful thing. Also, Appreciate Teachers Appreciation Week. Oh, you know, word. We shout out, out the teachers yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah, we shout out Bunker Hill Elementary. It's just a lot of teachers that's really not chilling. They online, they got family, they got kids they got to take care of. And they're actually logging in every morning and doing activities and Man. study notes and everything with the kids. So the teachers around the world, we want to shout them out. And all the homeless youth and all the homeless people around the, around the city and around the world, We've been touching doing this for a while. We don't try to put everything on the gram and Facebook because right. sometimes it's like degrading our people. That's why I stopped doing the um, recording and putting out the thing for the turkey day. When oh. we get them turkeys out and it make our people look real bad when they snatching turkeys and try to pass turkeys. Gotcha. Yeah. And a lot yeah. of people I grew up with and went to school with is less fortunate. We can't really do that. You know what I mean? So I don't try to post everything, but this homeless thing that we did with the youth today with Sasha Bruce is is amazing. Man, round of applause. Round of applause one time. Round of applause for you and, and the whole team because y'all are always in the community doing the big stuff. Uh, the D.C. Jail Sleepover. Uh, yeah. tell, tell us about that. Tell us about that. Well, I get, I get a lot of, I get a high volume of calls. I got my brothers and sisters over there. You know what yeah. I mean? A lot of them had those cell phones, some outside cell phones. And they're the, they, they telling me that I'm the voice. So I just try to speak out. Politics side. Don't want to say no politicians, nobody like that. But they just like, gee, talk to somebody. We're hurting over here. We have no masks, no gloves. And also, speaking on that, we slept out from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Wow. We, we, really, I didn't even, I wasn't even able to get in my tent because they had city people like, People from the hood was bringing Popeyes. Family members was coming out there speaking because their kids was locked up over there. Wow. We so it just became a, it became a community. Yeah, it was. Like it started that. drizzling, raining a little bit. I couldn't get in my tent because it was the volume. We had, we had D.C. workers pulling up, DPW, trash workers, everybody pulling up. Right. We, we don't put everything on the ground because we just think that's definitely not necessary. The more come out, the more better it is. But... It's so crazy on how they was being pepper sprayed, not being able to take showers, not being able to contact their families. In but I name. got a brother. Hey, Flexer, I'm going to send something to you this week. Okay. I got a brother. I didn't really get his full name, 
but he's he's donating a bunch of masks and gloves for me for the Word. juvenile block over Shout DC out. jail. Shout so we're going to take care wow. of the juvenile block first with the masks and the gloves. Yeah. And then we're going to move in with a whole bunch of other stuff. So we got masks and gloves coming for the DC jail for the juvenile block. And we're going to do that, man, and step in because this is, a, this is just a, a brother from the hood. I Word. think he got a few dump trucks. And he was like, man, gee, look, we bought some masks and gloves right. for the juvenile block first. And then we're going to get some donations from some other truck drivers. And then we'll be able to get the ladies, the ladies unit. And right. then we'll work with the brothers. And we'll work like that. Man, so, I'm, so yeah, it was a big, it was a big thing when we slept out there. So we get we we get a lot of response. We just haven't spoken out to everything is concrete because I don't like to speak on Word. it. And then and it don't happen. They be like, oh, he was bluffing, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So I, I'm the voice of the city with backyard. So I'm you able to speak out. Give it up to Big G on that. Ain't yeah. no question about that. Indeed, indeed. The ghetto prince forever. So so let's and that's yeah. a great segue. Like. Let's go back to when the Ghetto Prince um, came into his own, meaning when did Big G know that Go-Go was something that he wanted to take seriously as well as acting? So let's go back to the man, very beginning. Man, take, take it back, man. I, 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 to be honest with you, yeah. there was a sister that went to Howard University. Right. The corner. And the last I was saying was like one of them times I was shot. And wow. she was like, man, you always come back. You the, you the Prince of the Ghetto. You the ghetto prison. I was oh. like, ah, oh, I'm gonna stick with that. That kind of stuck with me. Right, right. And everybody just kept on saying, man, the ghetto prince, the ghetto prince, the prince of the ghetto. So I just kept, I just, I kept it. You know what I mean? And shout out to Jacana and Erica, um, Howard, Howard alum. Shout you know out what to mean? Them. And, H -U. You know what I mean? No <laughs> sister, yeah, H U. And them sisters like they was always right there, and they was like, man, you got to keep pushing. And all the sisters from 35 Double O Six Forty Lord Morton. You know Word. what I mean? Shout it Seven out. Teller. Yeah, Seven Teller Honeys, man, Feel Good Honeys, 100 Honeys. Them, them were the ones that really been with me from day one back there before the Ghetto Prince and all of that. And then far as the wire, once I got like my man Jay Coop, rest in peace, Jay Coop. Rest in peace, He was Jay running Coop. for World War, and he, he took me to the audition after I came from Pro Scout. I told you the story before. Yep. Flex on your show. Yep. And um, once I got on that thing, man, I ain't let it go. You know what I mean? It, it, it just kept moving, but just shout out to everybody to try to bring everybody up. And then I've been, I've been, I've been moving. I've been yeah, moving. no, you've been moving. No, no. Let me, let me say this. The, they call me the HBO kid. I just ain't make that the HBO money kid. Yet. Give it up for the HBO kid. Yeah, I just ain't make that bag yet. Flex, it's coming though. No, you know what I mean? It's like the whole bar honeys. Everybody that supported me. Everybody in my hood, man. The Gerard Street Cut Crew. Yeah, man, CTU fell my 14 and W, man, 35, 640, 100, everybody, Lynch Mob, Langston Lanes, Connor Turris, everybody, Trinidad. Yeah. Man, everybody, 501. It be, everybody been supporting from day one. Right. And when I got on TV, I got a lot of people watching that show that don't even look at TV. Look at that. <laughs> but but that's show you. That's to yeah, show you that yeah. they're going to bang with Big G regardless because they know Big G going to bring that flavor. 100, you know 100, 100, 100%, man. All the clothing lines in the city, everybody. everybody. But it's like they be mad, Flex, because you know this. You firsthand, you could touch on this. Okay. I never left my city. Never. You left New York. Yep. You, went, you went to school in Baltimore. Yep. Jumped on DTLR. Yep. Doing the big big things with Chirac, yep. with Deleon, with Sean John. Like you are an ambassador, you go around the world, and it's and it's it's a breathtaking thing. But it's like a brother that can really say, "Man, I'm gonna move," but I'm always from Brooklyn. Word. I'm gonna always move. I couldn't do that, bro. Like because like my city really count on me a lot. Yeah, and I already they already had gave me that cake. They already gave. They me already gave that you. They they proclaimed they you. To, even though the dudes that hate and all that, I still love them too. You know yeah. what I mean? Cause I hug them, cause they don't say it to me. Right. They they say it when I'm not around. Right. I still hug them and high five them. You know what I mean? But right. they know. You know what I mean? Just like it's an everyday thing. If you don't got people that don't like you, you ain't doing nothing. But ain't doing I got nothing. more. I got more love than hate. But right. it's like this city love me so much I can't leave. And Man, I just want the city. Hey, flex. This is what I want. I want the city officials to know. I never ask y'all to beg y'all for nothing. But just make a way. 
that I can make a bankroll in my own city. I'm going to give every, I give my last to my people. That's right. why they always come for me and they love me. When people talk bad about me online, man, they got the G Hive and all that. They go right for them. They have jump on There's a G Hive? The G Hive. Give it that's what they was the G. They said they got the G Hive. They was going crazy. They say, don't play with G. We going to get you. <laughs> Give us the comparison as far as how the wire taught Big G this and then how the transitions you took from this. Right. You I, learned, this. I learned, to be honest with you, I learned everything. I learned everything from the wire. And even before that, not to take it off the subject. No, Bruce go, ahead. Brown, go ahead. Bruce Brown Filmworks. Yes. Bruce Brown Filmworks. Bruce Brown Taraji, Taraji P. Henson, she started with, with Bruce Brown, and it was, you know, it was hood related. That was yeah. the first piece I was ever on. But once I jumped on that wire flexor, it was a different story. I learned everything Ooh, because man. I never, I was very seldom in my trailer. So I was able to go out and watch and see what was really going on. Right. So, man, I learned a lot. And with me filming transitions now, I took a page out of that book. I was able to say, okay, look, this should go this way. Hannibal is a, is a brilliant director. Shout out to Hannibal. Yo, shout out to Hannibal. Shout out to One Hannibal. Time. He, he learned, round of applause he to learned Hannibal. right there. He learned a lot. And I shout, I shout out to that brother. But right. I, I try to bring as much as I can because right. I've been on different HBO sets. And I very seldom stay in my trailer. And I just want to learn. I, I learn right on set. Right. I learn yep. everything. Hey, it's so not just about being behind the camera all the time. No. It's about behind the scenes of what you can learn and what you can bring to the table. But you know what you are? You always seem like the person that, yeah, you got your role and you got your script, but you almost want to know how everything operates. Just, I want right? to. I want to know the front and back shots. I want to know the director's eye. Right. I want to know what Crafty does. I want to know what this, the set supervisor does. Right. I want to know what the next scene coming into the next scene does. You can't have, if you smoke the cigarette or a J, and that and that set, yeah, and that scene, and then yeah. you come back and that's half of a cigarette, but then you come back with a full cigarette, you lose your you lose your 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 person that's watching, you lose your viewer, your viewer is not he knows you're not serious. Wow. So I learned everything. I watch everything, even when I'm on set. Yo, Cut. so so do you come do you me. so that's what I was about to ask. So from the Big G, the actor aspect, you learn all of that. But then do you also apply that when you and the rest of the band are practicing and y'all are on set? Yeah, yeah. I, do, I, do you want to know everybody's part? You I, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why a lot of times I have to really talk to my band members because the first AD, the first AD on set, the first AD when it gets too loud, quiet, quiet, quiet on set, quiet on set. Quiet on set. <laughs> they, but they don't really mean hard, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of hard to shoot tall guys when you shoot with with little guys. That's so you right. know what I mean. It's a lot of little guys in Hollywood. That's really, and I'm I'm six six, six five. I lie a lot and say I'm six four <laughs> just to get the role. I've been lying like shit on TV. As soon as I get on set, they say, "God damn, he's humongous." They they ain't never they ain't never Jordan. They ain't never try to cross check it. They ain't never try to cross check you and be like, "Wait, hold on, let's." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, like so, if if right, I don't want to really give too much up. But if you yeah, watch, no, yeah, 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 yeah. But if you watch the Deuce on HBO, my last role that I just okay. did, right, b before Prospect, right, I was a lot of times I was sitting behind the counter. Ah. So then you know I me, mean? I, I I I tore my whole patella, my knee. Yeah. And then I shot. They still let me shoot the whole time. They right. still let me shoot. Like, shout out to George Pelicano. Shout out to Dave Simon. Me, Nina me, Noble. Let me tell that you whole, That whole cat, that whole production. Right. They still love me no matter what. I get locked up. Gun charges. They still let me but, do my scenes. But, but you know what that shows? Fees, everything. You know what that shows? That shows that, like, things are going to happen, trials and tribulations. But your city is behind you, like, a million. Yeah, man. Like, my, like Murray Murray. Murray. Like they love Murray Bird, they love yes. Big G, man. Real talk, yeah, cause I, cause I will never leave him. Hey Flex, I will never leave my city, bro. I think I'll go broke here, and won't be no more change. Cause I can't leave this Joan. I love this motherfucker. Because I'm sure you had plenty of opportunity to go to L.A. or New York. As far hey, as Flex, I'm sure over three all these four, years, three to four different agencies. I left because they wanted me to leave and go to L.A. 
I don't have no problem with going to New York because it's close it's to home. It's still on the coast. It's still on the coast. It's right there. But I still can't move, though. I got to commute. I got to be on Man. Amtrak. Back and forth because I love this city like. When I leave from out of town, I'm gone for three or four days. I start itching and shit, man. Look at that. I start, man, I'm homesick. Look at that. <laughs> I won't go home. I won't go home. <laughs> Yo, give it up. Man, Big G, representing the city. He ain't going nowhere. Nah, but some of the inspirations, of course, we would be remiss if we, you know, Chuck Brown, right? Right, the king. I love Chuck. Right? What's, what's one of your fondest memories of... Chuck Brown and just being around him or a conversation that you might be able to share with us. You know, Man, I, I, got, I got two. I got two real quick. Talk to us. First time Chucky Thompson, you know who Chucky Thompson is, right? Yeah, yeah. The uh, the, 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 hit, the hit boy, maker. The hit maker. Yeah. Make a bad boy producer. Yeah. Biggie. The hitman. The hitman. Yeah. The hitman. Yeah. The hitman. So, so Chucky introduced me to Pop. Kilimanjaro. Okay. Took me in the back and I went in his dressing room and I never left him from there. He taught me from there. And then when I first time I was on the wire and I got locked up and Legal Times put that big article out about me. Right. He said, I'm not acting. I'm a street guy. I know how to use guns. I shoot people. I, I sell dope. All of this. So Pop met me at Starbucks on Pennsylvania Avenue and gave me an envelope of money for my birthday. Right. I said about, about three, four hundred. And he was talking to me. He's like, listen, everybody love you. Why you want to be a fool? You got television now. You can make it. You never know where you can go. Don't be an asshole. Wow. And that was another land. That was another highlight of my life. Wow. I have had several when we had dinner. We talked. Yeah. But yeah. those were one of the two best that I could really summons up without taking a lot of time. Up. Man, and I feel like, and I feel like y'all, um, y'all did, y'all did Mochella. In the name of like a Chuck Ooh. Brown, right? So talk to us about that. Yeah, because you just saying like y'all just posted the aerial pick again today just to get. Yeah, because it was that one year anniversary. Um, that day, of that day we played right there, and it was historic because when we were kids, when they put Murray Bray name on the municipal building, the Reeves Center, we played in the lobby on our buckets. Word. And, and that was a dope day. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got shot. Nobody got ran over. All the kids were able to make it home. It was beautiful. Flex of the people. See, this is what people got to understand. You know the little dude, man, Yachty, and everybody from Mochella, they yeah. was like, oh, we did this, and we put the bands, and we put shout out to everybody. But that was my neighborhood, bro. My people from my neighborhood was able to walk. Right there on 4 TV, you ride yep. their bikes. By the Metro PCS, and, and, right? And I shout out to everybody, always to mute, don't mute DC. Right. Manly, Mo, everybody, right. man. Right. Tony Lewis, everybody. We are backyard, Washington, DC. Go, go music is what you are about to see. That's a mute, that's a that's original right there. That's original. The sweet thing sing that thing for y'all, man. That's what we do. Man. And it's it's like the whole movement, what you do with DTLR radio, yeah. everything. Man, I love what you're doing though, because you always keep it real. Thank you. You know what I mean? It's like New York City got love for the kid too, man. I got some Brooklyn oh, people. All day. Jamie, Jamie Hector, Zip, right. powerful brother out there in Brooklyn, man. And Omar, got, Omar from the wire. Omar from Omar, the wire. From I got my man, I got my man Crip from out there. He was locked Word. up with my brother in the feds in Philly. Right. He he's a straight Brooklyn guy. I got yep. the Bronx. And I and man, I'm glad. I got Irv, I got Mac Wiles. Oh yeah, you know for man? sure. Shout Meth, out to Mac. Staten Island. I got right. Beth. Oh my God, man. My man Matt Mahawi from um what Mahawi, what P from? P from the Bronx. There you, you go. You know what I'm saying? No, like, well, I already man. know. Look, G, you're so well respected because you're so solid and, and that that transitions into a, a perfect segue of something I wanted to touch on that that be like there was a time in Washington DC where yeah. New York was just coming down, acting a fool, like you know, trying to take over, yeah. which is yeah. which is usually the attitude sometimes from a New Yorker, right? Right. And there was also there was always there was a time where DC would really get into it with New York. Like let's just keep it a buck. Like they weren't really yeah. because people New Yorkers for the most part didn't know how to adapt and pay respect to the highest. They know how to blend it. 
They well, already we, know how to blend in. Where are we at with that today? Like, is that still a, a known thing, or no, is it like right now? Case? Everything kind of pretty much like smoothing out, but it, it, it's still like since back then. And they'll tell you, I really never. That's why a lot of people love me because I really never say, "Oh, New York, these." Right. Like, I don't. I got. I still got some real, some real solid New York dudes that's real still here from back then. You know what I mean, my wow. man, my man Howie, York, Forty. There's a lot, lot of them, like Panama. Like it's a, it's a bunch of them that really have respect. They got kids, right? And our hoods by women that's really solid. Look at that. And, and they, and they was able, they, and their kids grew up here and still got their family in New York, right? So you know, it, like I always say, it ain't where you from, it's where you at. It's where and you I ain't at. Never had that pick. Oh, he from New York. Ooh. He from, he from Boston. He from. Jamaica, all that. Like I, it don't I, matter where I'm you cool. physically from. I was cool it, with that. I was cool with everybody because everybody was cool with me. It's you know about I mean? the if heart. Happened if you was out of line, then you you get dealt with. Then that's how it happened. Act accordingly. I got act I got family. I got family members. They got um babies by New Yorkers. Look at that. So it, it, you know it ain't really never matter. They was the ones that survived though. Right. Yeah. Because it was hard. A lot, you, of them, a lot of a lot of a lot of them they ain't make it. Let, let's transition here. Memorable shows. Like, what show? I know, bro, you've done thousands of shows at this point, right? Yeah. What's that one or what's that one that really stands out? Like, really, really stands out? I'm going to keep it real, bro. I got so many, but one I know. really stood out when we played at the cla the Capitol Classic. Is it MCI? MCI. MCI okay. Center. MCI. Thank you. So we Thank played for the Jordan Classic, and Michael Jordan gave us the whole band, all Michael Jordan shit. And we played on top of the, 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 the bleachers, all the way up top. And the and the crowd went crazy. I cried and everything, bro. Then when I got back- That's to when hotel, Jordan- Michael Jordan. And we had- When he's in the Wizards. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, was a, it, was a, it was the Capitol Classic. Had all the young, all the, man, it blew my mind. It blew crazy. my mind, bro. And just that moment from Jordan, that's like and he that, gave that, us that, all that, bro, he gave us all the Jordan gear. And then back in the hotel we had Jordan gear. That lady said, Look, he's crying. I was like, Ugh. and that and that broke, man. That that was one of the biggest, that was one of the best shows. I got plenty more. I'm sure. I'm that sure. was one of that was one of my big yeah, that was one of the big highlights for me. So speaking of Jordan, uh, what, what's your take on the last dance? Have you caught anything about the last dance? The documentary? Yeah, I, I, I learned a lot. I learned yeah. a lot. I've been yeah. watching. I learned a lot from Jordan and his supporting cast, same right. way with me. You gotta have a supporting cast. Got but you. like Jordan, he just he had that fight that he wanted to win. You know what I mean? I, I caught that one interview where he had with Phil and my man and my man um um what's what's my crazy boy? Uh Rodman. Rodman. Then it's Rodman. And he said like, Rodman in the middle of the season, Rodman was like, Man, I need a little break, a little vacation. <laughs> he went to the corner field. field. Yeah, he said, I wanted like, I need like 40. <laughs> like, what the hell? He's like, don't give him that. He said, hey, all right, give me 48 hours. I'm going to Vegas. Man, Yo. that's why I say it's real. It's, it's real. real. And, my, and I, I salute my band members for keeping up with all my shit. For sure. Because like, I, I ain't got it all sometimes, bro. No, but, but that's I what, like shit. But see, that's, what, but see, that's <laughs> why I, I want to just continue to salute you because you, 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 your stardom, you never see it. And that's why you continue to win because you're always for the people. You're always for the collective. Like one thing with you, you're never like, look, I've arrived. I'm Big G. Like, yeah. You're always about. That's yo. not my thing. And that's guess what? Thing. And guess what else too? And that's, this, this what I know would keep me float. Right. I ain't never no hater. Never I no never hater. hate on, I never hate on another guy for nothing. And it's crazy, man. And it'd be like, and I'm going to tell you something like about our city. And they always say crabs in the borough. Like I was telling Wild they this for since day one. It always be crabs and they and they always sprinkle and everybody hate. But this is what we got to do because we ain't singing all the time. We'll never check another player about no. And a lot of times they, they pillow talk with these ladies, man. Listen, this is what you got to always understand. I learned this from my sister. Give it to us. Women going to do whatever they going to do. Fellas, we y'all going to do, we going to do whatever we going to do, but never hate another man about no woman. Never man. be mad at nobody about a female. Man. Never be mad about anybody that got anything going on trying to get some money. 
just always love. That's why everybody love me. Love. Because I'm never going to hate nobody about nothing. No female, no band stuff or nothing. You got to love everybody. Anywhere With I go, I shout out every band because it's not just about backyard. It's about the city. And about go go music as a whole. What do you what do you pay homage with that? With that trait that you possess? Like who who in your family or during your childhood would you say that you that you like that it rubbed off rubbed off on you to be my, such a my sister. Okay. My sister. Rest in peace. My man. sister Joanne. Rest in peace. Man. She taught me everything. Like she was in love with this dude. My sister used to go to Calvin Coolidge. She was in love with this dude. They called him six million dollar man. He Why had six? all these girls. Why six? He had all, yeah, he had all these girls. He went like he went everywhere. Like flagship this back in the day. Yeah. He used to drive all the cars, pull up and take her. She got what she said. My uncle told me, love him, but always have a dude on the side. And my sister told me that. I said, What? She said he broke my heart, but he'll never break my heart again. And I said, What you mean, oh. sis? And she said, I'm gonna teach you. Because once you get your heart broken, you will never get it broke again. And I had my heart broke before, and it'll never happen again. Big G had his heart broken? Yeah. Yeah, I had my heart broken flat. I think everybody need that. Because you'll walk around thinking you the king of the jungle, and then right. you walk in and she naked with right. somebody else. <laughs> Bell <Bella> up, <Bob. laughs> hey, hey, look. They ain't happening now, sugar. No, they ain't happening know. now. We gonna walk you down. We gonna walk you down. <laughs> what, yeah, what's, what, is that, what does that feel like when when you're able to reminisce on when you first grabbed the mic to, to do the big G thing? And then now you got the legendary Snoop Dogg and Pharrell hey, wanted, wanted what to come. Take, hey, what's crazy, Flex? Mr. Scarface, Brad Bob. Jordan. So he the real one that really grabbed me long time ago. And that. He grabbed me, he showed me, he said, Gingo. He called me Gingo Star. He said, it ain't about what they think. It's about what you're doing and what you're doing with your band. And you take care of your fans and they're going to love you forever. Forever. So once, I, so once I, I was with Scarface, I was with, see, that's why I say, I don't have nothing against the young rappers. Don't never get it right. twisted. When I was Indian style, said Indian style with Tupac, right? I didn't even drink excuse, Hennessy. Cause, excuse me? Cause, yeah, couldn't stand Hennessy. Never smoked weed. This man rolled a white owl. And had Hennessy, I drunk that shit and smoked the white owl. Was high as a kite. Set Indian down. And he told me once he saw my performance, he said, I never seen this ever in my life. He said, when I'm going to tell you this, nobody can stop you. Kid. And that shit went to my head, bro. It went to my head. And that was early on. Early. I, be, I was with Biggie, too. That's why I say I don't really trip well, off none of that shit. But yeah, I was with Biggie, Biggie, too, bro. Shout out Biggie yeah. right there. At least he Biggie yeah. right there, man. I was with what Biggie, was, too. What was that experience like? What, what was That's that like? incredible. We performed, and Big got on the joint where I said the um, Armory, DC Armory. And then right, after right. that, I, I had the connection with, with Larry from the Madness. So when the Madness shop was throwing all the parties back in the day, Biggie, all, everybody used to come to the parties. And I had that connection. I had the sky page and all that. So after that, like when they come in town, he'd hit me. Meet up right. with him and all that. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't really be what, tripping. Like, what, would, what would a Biggie backyard band record sound like? like it'd, be, would... it'd be amazing because Chucky Thompson made all the music. That's what ah. the touch and the sprinkle come with. So, ah. so. When Biggie used to say Miami, D.C., prefer yep. Versace, right. all the Pino So that's that's that sprinkle. Georgetown, all that, that's that sprinkle back then, bro. See, I was, I ain't really know, like, people from my hood knew me, but they be like, oh, you over there with Big, got the cool. But I never put on the Coochie sweater until oh, a little bit later. Oh, you put it on, though. Into, right. yeah, yeah, I was into the sweatsuits and yep. MCM sweatsuit, Gucci, yep. Madness, you know what I mean, back then. So we was working. Well, we was out here, but it wasn't no social media. If right. they had social media back then, right? Oh man, be the king. Be the well, you are. The, <laughs> well, you are the king. You are king in your own. You way. know what I'm saying? But it's, it is. It happened because, that way for a reason. Right. But man, dealing with them like I was with everybody back then, Onyx, everybody. But I had that true relationship with Scarface, Devin the dude. 
Yeah. Yo, and DC Man. loves Scarface and Devin the Dude. They love Scar Look, Scarface would be in the hood for hours, just sitting on the wall, eating just, chicken. Just talking. kicking it. Nobody fuck. Nobody, you need no security or nothing. Look at I that. had the whole rapper like Mr. Magic, all of them was in my hood. Hey, Everybody so used to come right on top of Hobart. Once upon a time, if you go back to VH1 and all that, it was a thing where once you were been hearing about the new Jack Swain, it was like salt and pepper mixing that junkyard in there. You had EU with oh, salt yeah, and pepper doing the butt. Doing the butt. Doing the butt. Man, kid, kid and play. All of yes. them. So you had it already. You had trouble funking them already on tour. Bunk, 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 bunk. Drop the bomb. Drop the bomb. Drop the bomb. Drop the bomb. All of that, yo. So, yeah, so you had them already on tour. You had Sugar Bear and them with the butt. Man, tasting your love. They was torn, chucking them in Japan. We was little kids just trying to get there. Right. Couldn't get there though. It was tough, bro. We got a we got a long history. Gogo -Go been out there forever. Forever. What what what's one of your favorite cities besides DC? Of course, we know you love. What's one of your favorite cities to perform as well as like the reaction from the crowd where you're like, yo, I ATL. Like, at ATL. Hands down, ATL. ATL. ATL lovers. Give it up for the A. ATL, man. We can really gig at ATL like we gig at home. We can really literally do a whole weekly lineup at ATL. In ATL. Yeah. Advice for like the new bands coming up or the new, you know, what's like the best one situational advice you could give them when it comes to when it comes to longevity in the game? Just be just be be original. And what we're going through right now, because we fought for eight years for our name that we made up with a band in Germany. There was it's a band in Germany named Backyard Band? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a white band, rock band. Shout out to them because they had no clue. Right. We, we didn't have the business straight, so our name was never patented. Ah, here in the United States. So they were sending cease and desist letters. Really? For fly, everything. So, and then we, we did all those albums and we never got any money. We never got nothing. Like, we, the music was taken from us. We didn't own on our royalties, our publishing, our writing, nothing. So we finally fought for it. Now we own the name Backyard, the number four, L-I-F-E, sign language. Look, L, look, look at this right here. L-I-F-E. E, I love it. Life, backyard for life. So we own that name. So now, we well, see. That's why I tell a lot of people when I fuss and was just arguing with people, just put, try to put out a, a triple disc CD on me, and we don't, we not doing that. We not letting nobody rob us no more. We've been robbed for over 20, 25 right. years. Right. Didn't get no money. If anything, there's some reparations that need to yeah, be so, got. So I never, so I never hate on anybody. We're just moving and we're getting bigger. Yeah. So now we own our name. Yeah. We're just gonna push for gear, all of that, music, everything. But we just like New Edition, they didn't own right. none of that stuff. Right. They, right. they made millions and millions of dollars. They put them back in the hood of Boston and bought them some scooters and gave each one of them $100 to put in their pocket. Wow. So we, we didn't even get that. <laughs> didn't even get that. But you know what? We didn't, kept, yeah, we didn't even get a trip to the pawn shop. But what kept y'all going is clearly y'all heart, y'all passion for the music. Just the, the, fans. Love, the, the, the love the of the fans. games. The fans. That's what kept us going. The fans. the fans. We already loved it, Flex. We loved it. I loved it. I wouldn't be doing it if I ain't love it. Right. The fans. We're not shit without the fans. Man, give they it up love the us. Fans, I'm man. talking about they love us. They give it up for the fans. They don't play. Back y'all fans don't play. Man, I love And that's why I always flex it. I'm glad you touched on that. That's why I tell these band members. Right. And all, different bands, too. The ones that always been bougie and they never really want to talk to the fans, you can't do it now because it's you're too, it's not too late. able to, as a people person. It's too late. Because it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. I'm saying you might can try, but they know it's not genuine. Ooh. They always saw me out. They always saw me out. They see me at the grocery store. They see me at DTLR. They see me at the fish fry, the cookouts, the wine festivals. I'm always there. They can hug me, take pictures, right. talk to me. They know. Right. So if you try to be a people person now, it's not going to work. It ain't going to come off genuine. Because it's not genuine. Because they know you wasn't there. They know you just want something. You're here for something now. Can't do it.
Wow. That's the best. You know, that people person. Flex. That's such solid advice. So any 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 up and coming um go go band. Um, I love them. I love. Hey, Flex, I love all of them. Right. Man. No impressions. ABM. Yeah. Man. Reaction. To I love T O B. Because you know at this part, you, Chris, this man, point, you 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 you're, you're projecting into the Godfather state of of your own. And, and your and, own and, you, know what? you know what I'm saying? I, and I put it down like all the bands, like T C B. Everybody. Like all the bands that's trying to do their thing, that's doing their thing. Don't right. don't get me wrong. Be like, oh, they ain't doing their thing. Right. Everybody, and that's why I always speak on Rosie right. Four Souls in New York. I, I tell them like, it's not just back y'all. It's right. all of us. Serious company, familiar faces. R E Junk y'all. T C B A B M Reaction. Man, new impressions. Man, C C B T O B. Man, man, all the bands, man, everybody. If I put a trouble phone, everybody. Gee, let me tell you. Everybody. Let you me tell gotta you. Like, you got to you gotta love your people, though. And you know why that's going to ride with you. When, yeah, for sure. And when you was just naming all the, the acronyms, CCD, TCD, it brought me back to when I entered Morgan State in Baltimore in 05. And the first time I heard go go music was, right. I, I believe it was like the sexy lady, sexy. They would play that set. You see, you see right? me uptown. Shout uptown. out to Rock Trey. Mikey, shout out to Rock Mikey. Everybody, right. man, on that end, man, yeah. So, so, so yeah. You know what I'm saying is when I heard it, like it was the first time I'm hearing this style of music, right? So I go, right. wait, and I, but I'm a melody person and a rhythm, because being Jamaican, and, and a lot of times, sometimes people can't get with the, yeah. Sometimes people push it, man. So love it. You know, one step for the applause. You, what is thanks? Yes, sir. No, I, I, I really, I, I found a, a, a true, a true appreciation for Gogo -Go because being, being rooted in reggae, right, and how a lot of right. times, sometimes people can't understand it or it sounds like foreign type of music, right? Gogo, -Go, I appreciate it because. It was y'all own. It was DC's own. It's, it's, how, it's how how shit, man. It was I know DC. a lot of people say we do covers and all that. Do that. Like, now you got to look at. Like, we got original music. Like, look, shout out oh, to Michelle sure. Blackwell. Like, what bang? Michelle right. Blackwell. Right. She she got one of the one of the top singles that play on H-U-R, all that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, you got Serious Company, Scooby and Kim. They just put out a jump with Shorty Corleone. Dope. You got Killer Cow. You got bad y'all. You got everybody, sexy lady, everybody. You know what I mean? Man, when, with when I heard everybody, we got our I, own music. When I heard that, come mind you, it was at Morgan. Morgan's in Baltimore, so of course they play in Baltimore club music, and I'm jamming to that too, like all that fast. And then when I heard yeah. the go, the go, -Go set only had, mind you, the DCPG heads right in the party. Right, like yeah. let's say it was a thousand people, and I remember y'all performing at Sonar. I never forget. And yeah. the DCPG heads would always get at the DJ about playing all the commercial Man, the music. Because they were, no, but meaning they weren't playing like that underground, like that real go, go So all we would hear is like Sexy Lady, which is a big record, right? Right, they, yeah. Uh, um, watch out, no, watch out for the big girl with Baltimore Club. Watch out for the big girl. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah but you had um, all the Overnight them Scenario, Essence. Overnight Scenario. All the, covers, all, the, all, the, all the songs that they play on the radio, yeah. But, but let me tell you something. Your people, your DC people will go crazy. When I tell you wow. for that 10 minutes of just the set, just that commercial, they will get it in like I was like, oh, I feel like I'm yeah. in a dance hall bashment. Big up. Hey, and that's crazy. And that look, it's one girl, it's one girl, my Clinton honeys. Shout out to my Shout Clinton. Out to Clinton. Honey. Shout out to say, G don't play because we gorgeous Prince George's. <laughs> Yo, PG's pretty girl county. That's what they call hey, it. Pretty that one said they're pretty much they so pretty. They think y'all was just say he don't play with us. We gorgeous Prince George's. Look at that. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Love my gorgeous Prince George's ladies. Gee, where, where's one place that y'all ain't performed yet that you would really want to perform? It don't have to be in the US, it could be anywhere in the world. Where visually do you know backyard would just tear it down and the people will receive it? Amazing. Oh man, at uh Coachella, man. We going for it. Yeah, yeah we going for it. They need Coach to see us there. We almost was we 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 was lined up for South by Southwest, but they had a snowstorm. Oh me wow. went low sweet thing, we was pissed off. Man. But if they put us in that Coachella, they gonna know it. 
Because oh, once they announce it, my city coming. No, bro, they're they going to see the influx of flights. All that. We was just, we was booked for that summer in the water joint. For what, for real? Oh, in Virginia. Yes, 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 yes. Now, fi like, they finally, how, like, finally, Go Go is the official music, like, on, on law terms. But I feel like Go Go been, Go Go been the official sound of DC for almost. Man, we've been there. We already had the stamp. But shout out to Muriel Bowser, man, the mayor. She, shout she out made to Mary that happen. McDuffie. Right. Shout out to uh, Council Member McDuffie, Treyon White. They fought for us, man. You know, we all stood up. The whole mob, right. go go, everybody, all of us was down the council. Backyard, right. TCB. We stood up. Shell Blackwell, mm -hmm. Killer Cat, everybody, right. man. They stood up. And we was there. All the OGs, man. Everybody, man. Shout out to, man. Ron Moten, Natalie Thompson. I'm talking about Don't Mute DC. Shout out to everybody, man. The whole Mochella. Big thing. Everybody that did something that part of this whole thing, man. And uh, it was beautiful, well, man. We we were fishing music, man. Well, it's a it's a celebration tonight. I ain't gonna hold you. We we approaching the one hour mark. So look, um, happy belated. Well, happy birthday, because a person like you don't just celebrate My birthday, on one look, day. Yes, you flex up. My birthday's yep. still going, man. I ain't still going. Stopped, I'm, I'm in quarantine. Look, I'm on my back corner. On your back, back porch. Yeah, I'm on my back porch corner, man. Oh, yeah, I love I'm it. I'm on my back porch chilling right now, so I'm still in quarantine, so my birthday don't be in. I'm still going, it's still my birthday. <laughs> we started it up for you right now. We've been gangster, <laughs> yo. Hey, tell them, don't forget, tonight, 10 p.m. 10 p.m., that's what I was getting at. That's what I was getting at. 10 p.m., ladies and gentlemen, it's a party. It's a virtual party like none other. On Backyard for Life, Backyard for Life YouTube channel. You're gonna have yep. Backyard Band, some special surprise guests, I'm sure, just popping in saying what yeah, happened. Man. On the YouTube page. No, on the YouTube page. Only the YouTube. No, no IG, no Facebook. We can nice. stick to YouTube. Y'all turn in. You won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. 10 p.m. until they cut y'all off. Cause I know how y'all do. Y'all going until I they know, cut y'all off. Hey Flex. I don't never try, but I try to respect the club owners and stuff like that when we out there. Right. But I, I just love it, man. That's that's my life. I love to do it, man. I love filming and all that, too, but I like to be right on that stage, man. The, the adrenaline is crazy. Well, Big G, when I tell you you are an icon, a serious Thank icon, well-respected, well-loved, much loved, and tonight we're going to party for you. Backyard for Life on YouTube channel at 10 p.m. sharp. Thank, thank you. Thank you. One, one more favor. One more oh, favor. Anything. Can you, can you get with my manager and send me a couple of boxes of that shit? That's done. That's done. I'm That's saying good. I'm Kavazi ain't for life, but the ladies, I be oh, hanging out with a lot Shout out to Kavazi. Listen, my ladies, they like that too. And then you know, my other ladies sitting on the side, right. they love that Kavazi. They sprinkle, right? So you need you need everybody to be happy. You need everybody happy. to be happy. I got, I got, two, I got two sides. You got they two sides. That. My ladies on this, on the left side, they love the Chirac. And my ladies on the right side, they love the Kavazi AG mix. Well, we so wanna, you gotta send me, you gotta send me some. Well, we want to make sure <laughs> everybody's happy. We want to make sure yes. everybody's happy. So you know, I got you, my brother. Couple of That's easy. Too, That's it. Oh yeah, all right. I will not be cheap. <laughs> I'll give you whatever you need, Big G. My brother, Much love. my brother. <laughs> you love. Big G, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. Love Thank you, bro. You. Thank you, bro. Love you, bro. My man. Yeah.